Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hinayoy. Praise the Lord. Amen. And we all know that God deserves our highest praise today. Amen. And I know, ngakitang tana natay mga dakong pagpasalamat diya sa ginoo, no? Even though, even though that our times are now challenging, but still we are not moved. We are not. We are not shaken. We are still standing by the grace of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So karong kabutagon church, it's uh, a wonderful time again. Nakita magdaig diya sa tungbuan ni Dios. And even to our online viewers around the world, no, come and join us in our worship today. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. No, can we uh, flash the screen in the screen? No, ang Psalms 146. Amen. Psalms 146. I praise praise the Lord, O oh my soul. While I live, I will praise the Lord. I will sing praises to my God while I have my being. Do not put your trust in princes, nor in a son of man in whom there is no help. His spirit departs, he returns to his death. In that very day, his plans perish. Happy is he who has the God of Jacob for his help, whose hope is in the Lord his God. Who made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that is in them. Who keeps truth forever. Who executes justice to the oppressed. Who gives food to the hungry. The Lord gives freedom to the prisoners. The Lord opens the eyes of the blind. The Lord raises those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord watches over the strangers. He relieves the fatherless and widow. But the way of the wicked... He turned upside down. The Lord shall reign forever. You God, O Zion, to all generations. Praise the Lord and let us all stand. Hallelujah. Takana to kusog ang palakbak at tumuin na Dios karon. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord. Lord, we remember your goodness, O God, sa mga matakinabuhi karon, O God. Hallelujah. 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 A church. The meaning of the word hallelujah is praise the Lord. Amen. No? And the verse is saying, no, ginausap usap gina praise the Lord. There's a repetition of it. Why? Because in all circumstances, we should praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Sa itong mga struggles karon, sa itong mga kalisod karon, no? Let us not allow na atong worship will turn into worry. But instead, we should turn our worries to worship. Amen. Hallelujah. And let's replace all those circumstances, all those trials, all those pain. Ato siyang ilisan ng word. Hallelujah. Kung nasuko ka, ato na siyang yun. Hallelujah. No? Kung nakay kagool, atong ilisan. Hallelujah. It's not about removing the problems, but it is entrusting our problems to God. That He is bigger than our problems, bigger than our pains. God is bigger in everything. Amen. And we should put our trust into the name of the Lord our God. Hallelujah. And our church, ang ato ang kantahon is all about echoing, no? I-echo lang nato. No, the, the, the good of this song, the good thing about of this song is that kung unsa akong kantahon, inyo lang sunugon. This is a new song, but it is so easy. Amen. And the good thing of this song is that we will just emphasize the word hallelujah. Amen. We will just emphasize that the Lord is holy. We will just emphasize that the Lord is worthy of our praises. Amen. Hallelujah. Palakbakar tumbuhi na Dios. Amen. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. We praise your name. Let's clap our hands, church. Oh, we praise your name, God. You deserve all the glory. Yes, God. Sing with me. You're the Alpha and Omega. You're the Alpha and Omega. You're the beginning and the end. You're the beginning and the end. You're the same yesterday, today, and forever. You're the same yesterday, today, and forever. I pray, I pray your, name. your name. I praise I pray your, name. your name. You're the Alpha and Omega. Make it louder. 
You're the beginning and the end. You're the beginning and the end. You're the same yesterday, today, and forever. Same yesterday, today, and forever. I pray your name. I praise your name. Hallelujah. Holy, holy. You are worthy of my praise. Holy, 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 you are worthy, you are worthy of, my of my praise. Clap your hands up high, everybody clap your hands up high, yeah. We worship your name, Jesus. Oh, we clap our hands to you, God. We lift our voices to you. Sing with me again, church. Come on. You're the Alpha and Omega. You're the Alpha and Omega. You're the beginning and the end. You're the beginning and the end. You're the same yesterday, today, and forever. I praise your name. I praise your name. The Alpha and Omega. Yes, you're the beginning and the end. You're the beginning and the end. You're the same yesterday, today, and forever. Everybody, I pray your name. I praise. Come on, church. Hallelujah. Holy, holy. You are worthy of my praise. Worthy, you are worthy of my praise one more time. Hallelujah. Holy, holy, you are worthy of my praise. Hallelujah. Holy, holy, you are worthy of my praise. See me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because we understand that there may pain, there now may pain, Lord. We believe God that these pain are just temporary. 
But as we worship you, Lord, you are preparing us for an eternal thing, O God. Lord, na kami, pag-abot ang sa langit, di na ginmi mangundang, o dahil di akani mo gino, Diyos. That's why, Lord, we choose to worship over our worries, O God. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah. We replace all those pain into hallelujah. That's our weapon, O God. Kung naman may mga kasakit, nag bang karon O God, Lord. Kung naglison man may sa pandemya, God, we will choose to worship you. Because, Lord, kabalumi, sa imong saad, di minimo pasagdan, Lord. Hallelujah. And as Lord, we give you our worship. We believe that you are the God of blessings, of miracles, of breakthroughs. Na imong isupply sa imong mga anak, ginoong Diyos. Hallelujah. That's why, Lord, as the verse said, O oh God, Lord, sa Psalms 146, that we will put, not put our trust, di na mo iput ang trust, O oh God, Lord, sa mga princess, sa among mga leaders. But God, only thing that we will trust is you, Jesus. We will just only put our trust, our hope, O oh God, our assurance in you, Lord. And Lord, that's why, Lord, digun me, magsawa ng mudaig diya sa pangalan, O oh God. Lord, we're so sorry kung ta- night times, Lord, nga di mi muto si muha. We're so sorry, Lord, kung sa'yo magsalig na mi sa mong mga kaalam, sa mong kusog, O oh God. And Lord, marip na mo ang result, Lord, na makapoy lang nagsamot, Lord, kung di mi mo salig diya ka din. Ma-burn out na mga samot, Lord, kung dili na mong ibutang ang among mga kasakit ya kanin mo, Ginoong Diyos. And Lord, be magnified in our lives, Lord. Masking naglisod mi, Lord, be magnified, O God. Ikaw lang ginang matuboy, O God, Lord, so matag kinabuhi, Lord. Continue to worship God today. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. Worship your name, Lord. We seek your face today, God. I have made you too small in my eyes. Oh, Forgive me, I have believed in a lie that you were unable to help me, but now, oh Lord, I see my wrong, heal my heart. And show yourself strong And in my eyes And with my son Oh Lord Be magnified Oh Lord Be magnified Be magnified Be magnified Nothing you can't do. Oh Lord, my eyes are on you. Be magnified. Oh Lord, be magnified. I have leaned on the wisdom of man. Forgive me, and I have responded to them instead of your light and your mercy. But now, oh Lord, I see my wrong. Heal my heart and show yourself strong and in my eyes and with my 
song, O Lord, be magnified. O Lord, be magnified. Let's magnify the name of the Lord. Be magnified. Be magnified into our lives, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, be magnified, Lord. Be magnified, Lord. Be magnified in our minds, in our hearts, Lord. In our bodies, Lord. In every decision that we make, oh God, we magnify, oh God. Be magnified, Lord. You will be the center in our lives, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for showing the mercy, oh God, Lord. An ending mercy. That endures forever, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we will just look unto you always, Lord. We will focus on you, Lord. Lord, we will not lean our wisdom to the man, O God, Lord. Sa mga tao, ginoon Diyos. But we will just look unto you, Lord Jesus. And we're going to confess, Lord, that you, Jesus Christ, is our Lord in our lives. Lord, Ikaw lang git, Lord, ang ginoo sa mga matag kinabuhi, O God, Lord. Lord, remove all the stains sa mong kinabuhi. Remove all the idols, Lord, nga napilit pa sa mong kasing-kasing, Lord. Because, Lord, we are ready, Lord, to give our hearts to You. Lord, na Ikaw ang mulingkod sa kaning kinatungan sa mong kasing-kasing, karon, Lord. Oh, hallelujah, Lord. You're wonderful, Lord. You're wonderful, O God. Thank You, Lord. Thank you, Lord, sa pag-abot sa kaliputan. Aron luwasin kami, ginoong Diyos. And Lord, to the point, Lord, na imong gidawat ang kamatayon para lang kami maluwas, oh God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And Lord, you deserve our worship, oh God, Lord. You deserve it, oh God, Lord. Because of who you are, oh God, Lord, sa mata mo kinabuhi. You are God alone from before time began, oh God, Lord. You're the Alpha and Omega, Lord, the beginning and the end, Lord. Accept the worship, O God, Lord. Accept our worship, Lord. Accept our praises. All we want to do, Lord, is just to worship your name. Worship your name, O God. Kaya kung magsalig mi sa mong kagalingan, Lord, masamot na may kalumos an yung God. But Lord, we will turn our eyes. We look unto you. Put our trust in you alone, Lord. And we will worship your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Light of the world, you step down into darkness. Open my eyes, let me see beauty that made this heart adore you. Spent with you. Come on, church, sing the song. Heartily, come on. Here I am to worship. Here I am to bow down. Here I am to say that you're my God. You're all 
Worship you, Lord. Oh, we worship your name. Lord, I stand in the midst of the multitude of those from every tribe and town. We are your people, redeemed by your blood, rescued from death by your there are no words good enough to thank you there are no words good enough to thank you. there are no words to express my praise express my praise but I will lift up my voice lift up my voice and sing from my heart with all of my strength Everybody will sing. 
Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah to the left. Hallelujah, hallelujah, by the blood of Christ we stand. Every time, every tribe, every people, every land, giving glory, giving honor, giving praise unto the Lamb of God. Lord, we stand. Lord, we stand by grace in your presence. We glance by the blood of the Lamb. We are your children called by your name. Humbly we bow and we pray. Release your power. Release your power to work in us and through us till we are changed to be more like you then all the nations will see your glory revealed and worship you hallelujah 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 to the lamb hallelujah hallelujah by the blood we stand every time, every tribe, every people, every land, giving glory, giving honor, giving praise unto the hallelujah, 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 hallelujah to the Lamb, hallelujah, hallelujah, by the blood of Christ we stand every time. Every tribe, every people, every land, giving glory, giving honor, giving praise unto the Lamb of God. And every knee shall bow, and every knee shall bow, and every tongue confess, confess that you are the Lord of all. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah to the Lamb. Hallelujah, hallelujah, by the blood of Christ we stand. Every tongue, every tribe, every people, every land, giving glory, giving honor, giving praise unto the Lamb of God. Giving praise unto the Lamb of God. Giving praise unto the Lamb of God. Jesus Christ, Lamb of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Jesus Christ, the Lamb. Of God, hallelujah. We praise your name. Come on, church. Lift up your voices and worship the name of the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We exclaim hallelujah. We exclaim hallelujah to you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus. And therefore, God also has highly exalted him and given him the name which is above every name, that the name of Jesus every knee should bow of those in heaven and of those on earth and of those under the earth and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Yes. Oh yes, Jesus. Come on, give Him praise. Give Him praise. Give Him praise. Give Him the honor. Give Him the glory. Lord, asagin me karon Lord, kung wala ka sa mumatag taliwala karon Lord. But God, we're so grateful, we're so thankful, God. Lord, nga niyabot ka sa kalibutan, naro kaling kami luwasan, God, Lord. And right now, Lord, at this moment, we will give you the best and the highest worship 
honor, praise, adoration, thanksgiving, dominion, power, and authority belongs to you, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, God. We give you all the glory and the honor, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Shall we give a mighty hand, clap of praise to the God. Hallelujah. Ayo ingon ko Lord. Nanong gi-allow nimo ni siya sa kung kinabuhi na this Sunday mag-preach ko. And then I asked the Lord, Lord, please heal me. So naitabo, naglakaw-lakaw ko sa sunod sa planta, nagtakiang, nagtakiang. And then nag-rest ko sa taas, nag-rest ko sa taas. Pag-rest na ko sa taas, Lord, please heal me. And glory to God. Uh, that's that was Thursday and then pagka Friday, medyo na okay-okay na siya. Medyo na okay-okay na siya. Ingo ko, Lord, this is your will. Pero ganina, nanapoy na hitabo ganina. Nag-brown out. Kisa na kabantay, nag-brown out ganina. Na, nag-brown out diri So, uh, nabablema ko, Lord, nanong gialaw na po ni mo na mag-brown out na mag-preach man ko. No, mag-serve man ko. Pero, the Lord speak to me Last 20 ta uh, 2000 no nagkaroon kog mission trip sa Jose Abad Santos kaysa nakatod sa Jose Abad Santos one month ko nag mission trip sa Jose Abad Santos na walay kuryente so walay microphone walay kuryente walay powerpoint and etc so the lord gave me idea kahit walang powerpoint kahit walang microphone you must preach the word. Okay? Kahit wala tayong materialist dito, basta si Lord nagsabi sa iyo, preach the word, preach the word. And then, gaganina, habang nag-devotion mo sa gawas, pag sulti ni, kisa to naging na thank you, ha? Ah? Si Missy, Missy? O oh, si Missy, pag ingon, thank you Lord, ni kalit o ba- balik ang kuryente, o napaingon po ko, thank you Lord. <laughs> oh, thank you Lord kay. Hi, salamat Lord. Gialaw pag gud mo na magamit pag og PowerPoint, magamit og microphone, and then magamit na to ato ang live streaming para ma-share ang pulong sa Gino uh, across the the globe or across the country. Okay? No. So, kisang excited na maminaw sa pulong sa Gino. Amen. No. So, last time, no, we are we are in the topic about serving. Tama. Kisa dere ang nakatry na og serve. 
Wala pa? Wala? Wala. Kisa nakatry o nag-serve sa parent, sa manghod, sa other person. All of us nakatry na. Diba? Kitang tana nakatry na. And then, it is very uh, heavy sa tong heart na nakaserve ta sila ha. Especially, kapag ito ang ginaservahan is ang ito ang mga higher rank. No? Our, our pastor, our uh, government officials, kapag nagaan uh, natin ng service, no? Dako ato ang work fulfillment sa tuwang life. Amen? So right, karon, no? We will discuss how to serve, no? Mamagin ang punto sa church, no? We are here not to be served, but to serve. And then, kanan na, kana na, na praise is very old na na siya sa una pa ng panahon. And then yet, until now, minimal lang kayo ang nag-work, nag-serve. Okay? Now, last time, nag-share ko about understanding on how to serve with Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. And then I, I discussed about the parable of the talent and then ang story ni Mary and Knight, Martha. Okay? So, kisa na remember Kasi kapag na-remember na ito ni siya, makuha ninyo ang idea sa ito ang next na topic. Amen? So, so kita, ang majority sa ito, kasabot naman tao sa itong the parable of the talents, gitago itong talent, katong isa, kat, na iisang talent ng binigay ng kanyang master, gitago po ganun niya, and then nawala. So, para masabtang din ito, ang tanan ani, di ba nabuhat ko contrast, no? Oh? So, so, Matthew chapter 25, verse 28, ingon siya, So, take that talent from him and give it to him who has the ten talents. And then the other is, Luke 10, 42, ingon siya, But one thing is necessary, no? Mary has cho chosen the good portion which will not be taken away from her. So, ibig sabihin, this is talent and this, and this is the word of God. So, ibig sabihin, God gave us individual talent to serve other, to serve with God, but with the Word of God, which is our standard sa ito ang pag-serve. Amen? Nasapta naman na ito? So, human na ta. Hindi pa. <laughs> okay. Now, no? Nakamention ko, knowing your purpose is also knowing how you can serve. Kung kabalo ka, kung unsa mong purpose din sa kalibutan, kabalo po ka, kung unsa mo ang purpose para makaserve. Kung ikaw, how ka magluto, kabalo ka, mong purpose is magluto, serve your talent sa uban, magluto ka. No? Feed them. No? Feed them. Okay? So, Purpose, if, if you have a purpose, it will lead you to serve. Kung kabalo ka si mong purpose, no? Nasabta ni mong purpose, that's, that's the reason makaserve ka. Because you know your purpose. Kung ako, kung teacher ko, kung nasabta na ako kung purpose as a teacher, no? Makateach ko. No? Kung, kung ako, nasabta na ako na ang purpose na ako is being a pastor, makaserve ko as pastor no kung kung ikaw engineer ka no engineer ka no you can serve sa engineering works kung ikaw military ka you can serve sa military ng mga aspeto okay so kitang tanan kailangan nato masabta ng ato ang purpose kaysa dere karon ang nakasabot na siyang purpose amen ano yung purpose nyo sa buhay nyo Anong purpose mo sa buhay natin? Nang iba, sa iba. Okay? So, mauna siya. Sabto nato na siya. Purpose leads you to serve. Okay? Now, we were put on earth to make a contribution which is to serve. Nahata din sa kalibutan to serve. Even Jesus Christ, niyabot sa kalibutan, nag-serve. Nasabta na to? Nasabta na to. So, no reasons na kita dilita mag-serve. There's no reason na kita pagsulod dito sa simbahan, maglingkod dito, walay reason. Because si Jesus Christ, ni Adel din sa kalibutan, to serve. 
to teach the Word of God. Amen? Now, to serve is, the first step in serving is confession. All we know that confession is, murag ka ng, magkadungog ka confession, isa lang yun ang musulod sa tuwang una-una. Forgiveness. Tama? Forgiveness. Mawag yun na itong majority na itong mga una When we say confession, is always end with forgiveness. But before, let's define, usa din confession? Confession is a statement made by a person or by a group of person acknowledging some personal fact. Yan. Now, kaya, gi-highlight na ko ang statement because diya na ito masaptan kung unsa yun ang confession. Okay? What is this statement means? Okay? Statement is a definite or clear expression of something in speech and in writing. So, last time, katumbuhi pa si Pastor Sami, nagkaroon mi og discussion Wednesday, Wednesday night, no? nagkaroon tag discussion, and uh, na-remember na ko si Kuya Boy Amistad ang nag-ask, what is confession, Pastor? And then Pastor Sami told uh, Kuya Boy na ang confession, you must tell it. No, kailangan ni mo isulti. No? Kailangan mag-release ka statement through speech or writing. Now, kani statement, it is our response. No? Kumingong kag statement, it is our response. No? Sa so, response sa ato ang mga gitawag na personal fact, which is our views and belief. Naintindihan na ito. No? Before ka nag, before ka nag sa, sa na maging membro sa Church of God, no? Nabalani mo ang declaration of faith. Okay? No? Kung itong nasapta lang ang declaration of faith ng Church of God, no? That's the, the time na nag ka, nag-confess ka that uh, I will abide in the teaching of the Church of God, No? I will abide in the declaration of faith of the Church of God. Mao na siya, no? Kaya kaya kapag sa service kailangan natin i-confess. Kailangan natin i-confess. Okay, now. Kisa na ka receive of ID. No? Guapo ka in tawanan ni ba, no? <laughs> Walay lain kundi dili ako na. Ako na, okay? So, sa so confession, no? na kagibutang na acronym na ID card. No, before ka makasulod sa isa ka, isa ka establishment, kailangan ni mo ID card. Di ka kasulod kapag wala ID. Tama? Tama ba? Okay. So, kanang ID na ko definition na na. Number one, it is it must be intentional. Dapat giplanuhan ni mo siya. No, gitanuhan din mo siya na para sa badang uli hindi ka magsisisi. No? Second, dapat na kay desire. Desire to serve, desire to abide, no longingness. Okay? Next is conviction. No? Dapat na kay believe na dapat ang conviction nimo is tama, no? With the guidance of our God. Okay? Next is Acknowledge. Admit that you need to serve. Admit that you are a sinner. Acknowledge it. Amen? And then, recognition. Respect. Respect kung unsa ang standard ng church. Respect kung unsa ang mga, mga standard ng ato mga leaders. No? Respect the teaching and everything. And then, recognize na, na siya. And then, last is, Declaration, affirmation, confirmation. Ipa-confirm. Naintindihan natin. So in confession, there is, it must be intentional, there is desire, there is conviction, there is acknowledgement or acknowledge, there is recognition, there is declaration. Pero naibago ka ron, di ba? Usually, dugay na natong ginagamit ng ID. So, during sa pandemic, nagkaroon tao ginatawag na QR code. QR code. Dili ka kasulod sa establishment karon, 
sa mga malls, and etc. kapag wala kay QR code. And then, nangunahon ako, wapo ni si Buhatan, no, ganang acronym na po. Sa confession, kailangan na to QR God. QR God. Saan yung QR God? No? Quality relationship. Amen? Quality relationship towards si mga ginoo, towards other, and then kung ikaw, disciple ka, sa mong discipler, kung ikaw, discipler ka, towards sa mong disciple. Naintindihan natin, QR. Kisa dire na QR. Amen. No, kita na na na, kay required na mag-guna siya. No? Pero kadi po, requirement po din sa tuwa ka ron, No? Dapat na tay quality relationship towards God, towards other, and towards sa tuwang disciples or discipler. Okay? So, sa tuwang dua, ID card and then QR God. Delete QR code, QR God. Okay? Now, sa Biblia, no, there is two picture of confession sa Biblia. Okay? Confession of faith and confession of sin. Typically, when, typically, kabaluta na word confession is related to forgiveness. Pero, napod ay confession of faith, which is itong ginamention ako ganina. No? Dapat masabta na to, no? Sabta na to ang teaching ng Church of God or na teaching ng ating pastor, ng ating mga elders, no? O na siya, okay? So, unsa man yung duwa kabuok? Confession of faith is public acknowledgement of commitment and devotion to God and to the truth through which God is revealed. Unsa ang ginareveal sa ginoo? Sa Biblia, No? Dagan kayo na ginaribid lang ginoo sa Biblia. And then number one, we will discuss. We are discussing about service, no? Ang ginoo nagaingon serve. You must serve, no? Serve kato mga poor. Serve your master. Serve your kaupa sa church. Serve your family and etc. Amen. Confession of faith. No, abide the teaching of the Lord. No, bas bagbasa tayo ng Biblia. Mao na karon gina gina to ganey gina implement or what I mean gina push through ang gitawang na tong soap making. Soap making is spirit that's uh, scripture, observation, at, uh, application and prayer. So that that thing no makatuon ka makatuon ka sa pulong sa Ginoo no please please no try it no at first lisod yo kayo sa suda ni oi suda ni oi di ka di di ko ka ano di ko kabuhat kay wala ko idea no wala ko idea pero try ask your leaders ask your kanang accountability group leader ask your uh, division uh, department head Sir, or pastor, or kuya, saan pag-start sa pagbuhat sa soap? Don't you worry. They will teach you how. Okay? Second, confession of sin. Mauna itong typically, typically, mauna itong ginabuhat na itong mga ikagpasailo. Towards sa, sa ginoo, sa family, sa imong silingan, sa imong spiritual leaders, pastors, and churchmates. Okay, mauna siya, nasapta na na to. There is two picture in the Bible about confession. Number one, confession of faith. Number two, confession of sin. At, naintindihan natin. Nasak mo or katugo na kita. <laughs> no? Okay, now, ang atong topic karon is devotional discipline, service, confess for God's service. No? So, I ask everybody to please stand and let's read the Word of God sa 1 Thessalonians 5 chapter, uh, verse 12 to 28. No? We will read it responsibly. Okay? No? So, verse 12, ako, and then verse 13, kamo. Okay? Mabasa ba nato? Okay? So, ingon sa verse 12, Dear brothers and sisters, 
Honor those who are your leaders in the Lord's work. They work hard among you and give you spiritual guidance. Verse 13. Verse 14. Brothers and sisters, we urge you to warn those who are lazy, encourage those who are timid, take tender care of those who are weak, be patient with everyone. Verse 15. Verse 16. Always be joyful. Verse 18. Be thankful in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you who belong to Christ Jesus. Do not scoff at prophecy. Stay away from evil kind, uh, every kind of evil. Verse 24, no? God will make this happen for he who calls you in faithful is faithful. Dear brothers and sisters, pray for us. Greet all the brothers and sisters with a sacred kiss. Verse 28, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. No? May the good Lord bless upon reading his word. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you, Lord God, Lord, for this day. Lord God. You allow us, Lord God, again to listen to your word. And we pray that your, the Holy Spirit will, will move in our midst today, oh Father God. Thank you, Father God. And please open our hearts, our minds today. We want, Lord, to learn more from you, oh God. This we ask in your mighty name, O oh God. Amen and amen. Please sit down. Okay. Introduction pa lang to. I don't know if you understand sa introduction pa lang about service. But I will I will teach you no this verse no the first Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 12 to 28 no. In many people are curious about what the Bible has say uh, has to say about service. Madalas no wala ta kasabot. Wala ta kasabot nga nung mag-serve ta. Because siguro Wala ta kasabot kung unsa gyud ang purpose nato. Amen. Siguro ang reasons nganong di ta serve because wala ta kasabot. Unsa tong purpose sa church? Unsa tong purpose sa community? Unsa tong purpose sa family? Mo hindi ta serve. Okay? God expect those who love him to provide service to others. Ginaexpect ta sa Ginoo ana. Nag-expect ang Ginoo na kita no as his children no na mag-serve sa uban okay no sabtan naman ato kitang tanan pila ta ka book dire and ato ang mga kauban sa online no gina-expect sa Ginoo na kita mag-serve no amen no gina-expect sa Ginoo na kita mag-serve okay now, by providing service to others, we become God's hand reaching out to, God, uh, to others. No? Gamitin ta sa gino para katong mga tao na wala pa na kaila, kung sugugma sa gino, no? kita ang gamitin sa gino to reach them. Para, para mis, ma, 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 makabig na to sila. Para mapabot na to ang gugma sa gino sa ilaha. Gamitin ta sa gino. Kaya nga, no? Kaya nga, Ang katong ginapag-set na ko na, na text ganina na dapat maging example ta, especially sa atong words na ato ang gina-release. Amen? Kasi majority, kung unsa mo gawa sa ato ang baba, makonclude na sa tao kung kinsa ka. No? Makabalo na ka, ah, ka na siya, ka na iyang daway na pag-storya, makonclude yun ako na dili yun na siya kristohanon. Because nagagawa sa iyong baba is mga magical words. Amen? So, makonclude ma, 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 mo na kana siya, diligid na siya Christian. Kay the way na magawa sa iyong baba, diligid siya pang Kristohanon. 
Amen? Okay. So, gamiton ka sa ginoo. Inay mo sarili. Gamiton ko sa ginoo. Louder. Gamiton, to, gamiton ko sa ginoo. With declaration, gamiton ko sa ginoo. Intentionally, gamiton ko sa ginoo. Kisa nag story, kisa nag story ato. Kitantanan. So nana kay promise sa Ginoo na gamitan ka sa Ginoo. Please response. Ningong kag Lord, gamit ako. Please response. Okay? Now, God a special place in his heart for the most vulnerable members of society and charges his followers with providing service to them. Now, what are the purpose of service? Kailangan natin masabtan nga nung usap purpose sa service, nga nung naani siya. No? Kasi dili na ito masabtan, dili na ka-serve, kung dili na ka-sabot, usan yung service? Kaya nga matutawag Jollibee, usang mga services niyo dere or whatever. No? Kaya ang mga, ang mga Jollibee crew and ang mga fast chain foods na grabe ilang, ilang, ilang service. No? Uh, sir, uh, wait for 15 minutes and then tanaw ni mo, Tama-tama, 15 minutes. No? So, dapat masabta na ito ni siya ang isang purpose of service. Number one, no? the purpose of service is so God can reach others through our hands. No? Gamitun ka sa ginoo. Gamitun ka sa ginoo. Brother and sister, gamitun ka sa ginoo. Agree ba mo, Ana? Kayang gamitun ka sa ginoo. Ang problema, kumurespans baka sa yaha. Ang sakit. No? Gamitin nyo ka sa ginoo because you have different talent. Kung pila takabuok diri, maunang talento na makita na sa simbahan. And your talent is very important. Kaya gamitin ka sa ginoo. Malay mo, ikaw dahi gamitin para ma-reach out ang atong presidente. Amen? Amen. No? Okay? No. In of 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 12, For the ministry of this service is not only supplying the needs of the saint, but is also overflowing in many thanksgiving to God. Amen? So, us ko, no? The purpose of service is so God can reach others through our hands. Gamiton ka sa ginoo. No? And then, the second is the service we provide that only meets need by expresses thanks to God and leads others to praise God. So in verse 13, sa itong gibasa ganina, by the approval of this service, they will glorify God because of your submission, kagaysa ninyo nagsubmit sa ginoo, that comes from your confession, gisulti ninyo, gikonfess ninyo, nagkaroon mong statement, no? Uh, of the gospel of Christ and the generosity of your contribution for them and for all others. Amen po ba? Amen. So, ikaduwa na siya. And then, ikatulo, no? The Bible also says that service built up the body of Christ. No? Kaya na atay service na mag-serve ta para mabuo ang body of Christ. Ingon sa Ephesians chapter 4 verse 12, ingon sa dere, to equip the saint for the work of ministry for building up the body of Christ. And then mauni ang ginabuhat sa church na to, ginahinay ta og construct sa to ang accountability group. Asa pinaka kada daw pinaka in demand daw Kanin tulog ka buhok, si Kuya Clyde, si Jess Reed, and si Brother uh, Limuel. Mawada ng in-demand <laughs> sa EG. Okay. Amen? So, kanin itong mga, kanin sila, sampo lang ni sila. No? Daghan pag mga EG ang ato ang church. No, wala, na, wala pa na ito na buhatan o poster na sama ani. No? Pero I tell you, our church is siguro I think 50% sa population or more than 50% na ano yung sariling EG. Nag-start lang ni ang AG sa lima, sa lima or unong katao. Kaysa man ang lima or unong katao, ang pastoral staff. 
Sa so, una, lagi may kasabot usahon pag pagbuhat sa AG. Actually, to be honest, ako ang pinakalas nag sa AG. <laughs> no, ako pinakalas. Sila, sila, sila Pastora Lovely, sila Pastora Angie, sila Pastora Olive, Pastora Jibay, si Pastora Bembe. Nakastart na, wala dito ko yung KDI idea. Usahon, usahon yung pagbuhat ng ano, eh, AG. Pero thank God, no, thank God. Tagaan ko, tagaan ko idea kung unsaon pag-manage sa AG. And then I praise God na ako'y, na ako'y mga kauban sa AG, which is si Kuya Enan, si Kuya Rowell, and Brother Mark. No? Tapos, among the four, we are all guapings. No? All guapings, AG. All guapings. O, di ba? Amen. Ba? Agree pa tayo doon, Kuya Enan? O, lahat, tayo, lahat kami guapo. No, lahat kami guapo. <laughs> okay. All good things. Amen. So please, no, please, no. Ang AG is dili lang sa kanang moral sa grupo-grupo lang para pa-char-char. No. Ang purpose sa AG is to lift you up, to build your spiritual life. No? Amen. Mao nang service na tong kailangan, no? Mao nang Iron sharpens iron and one uh, and one man sharpens another. Ang tao, nature sa tao, mga God, ang nature sa tao, sometimes, mabot sa iyong life na maging emotionally down. If if you are emotionally down, kung wala kay kauban na AG, no, wala yung mutabang sa imuha. Wala yung someone na, na mutabang sa imuha to lift you up again. Kaya naisipan ng ating church na magkaroon ng AG para sa mga tao o sa itong membro na kailangan ka ng tender care. Pag-aalaga. Sa emotional, sa spiritual. Pwede din sa financial kung mayaman tayo and then may sobra-sobra tayo, pwede na, pwede na maka-share. No? Amen? Sabta na nato siya. No? Amen. Now, how? So, sa gibasa na ito sa 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 12 to 28, diri na ako i-answer itong word na how. How? Okay? How? So, ingon sa verse 12, honor your leaders. No? Honor your leaders. Okay? Dear brothers and sisters, Kani siya na word na represent ni sa mga taga Thessalonians. Pero in our times, it describe ang brothers and sisters kita Christian. No? No, dear brothers, it is addressed to us, no? Honor those who are your leaders in the Lord's work. When we say honor, we must recognize I-recognize na to ang leader. Regardless kung ikaw tag-iya sa kumpanya and then your, your, your leader is high school graduate, recognize him or recognize her. Because ang trabaho niya, nagsabit siya sa gino to respond sa iyong calling na ikaw matudluan ka sa pulong sa gino. No? Don't tell na ako, uh, ako kay engineer ko, ikaw kay high school graduate lang ka, delete ka paminawon kay high school graduate lang ka. No. Recognize your leader. Honor your leader. First step, to serve others. Number one, honor your leader. Are we honoring our leader? In what way gina-honor na itong leader? Sa anong paraan natin gina-honor ato ang leader? Ano yan? Ano, 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 ano sa ito? Servisyo? Ah, submission, yes. Submission, when, we, when the leaders say, please create your own accountability group, submit. Because Ang leader man ko, di siya basta-basta magbutang o tasay mo na, na di ka kabalo. So, ibig sabihin, kung tagaan kag tas, 
He has a full confidence sa mo ha, na ma-manage ni mo na siya nabutanga. Okay? Kung ikaw, ga-appoint ka na mag, uh, mag-handle ka, ga-appoint ka, uh, accountability group, no? It, it means, ang imuhang leader na siya full trust sa mo na kaya ni mo mag-handle, ana. Amen? So, recognize or honor your leaders. And number two, respect and love your leaders. In verse 13, show them great respect and wholehearted love because of their work and live peacefully with each other. Now, the key word is great respect and wholehearted love. What does it mean? Okay? Give them high value of respect and love. In love, in love, in love. No? Ang mga yung people siguro taas ang ilang hatag na respeto o gugma sa ilang mga kauyaban. Uh, seryoso kaya yung people, hindi kaya ako yun. <laughs> no? Pero sa kanina, kanina verse, no? show them great respect and wholehearted love ang yung mga leaders. No? Don't let them be discouraged. Ang leaders, ang mga leader nato sa church, no, tao din sila. Marunong ding ma-discourage katulad nyo. So please, give them high respect, high value of respect, and give them high value of love. Ginataga na ito yung respeto, ginataga na ito yung love, sometimes pag birthday lang niya. Pero what about sa young ministry? No? Ah, si pastor. Grabe, busy na kayo si pastor. Oh. Ito yan ni pastor. Oy. O sa'yo mong action? Aluoy na kayo pastor. O sa'yo itong action? Help your pastor. Amen? Amen. Because, ingon pa na ako, naatay kanya-kanyang strength, naatay kanya-kanyang talent, And I know that God will use you. Agree ba tayo dyan? No? Kasi usang ito pangalan itong way kamot way tiil, si Nick. O, oh, basta ka ito, di na ako mamipronounce ang apliyedo. <laughs> no, basta ka itong tao na ano, no, kabulungan mo na kahit wala si kamot ug tiil, he served through life testimony. No? Malay natin, malay natin, ang, ang life testimony ni mo, is a tool para makadala ka og soul sa Ginoo. Amen? Amen. Okay? Serve fellow Christian. Okay? Ingon sa verse 14, Brothers and sisters, we urge you to warn those who are lazy. Encourage those who are timid. Take tender care of those who are weak. Be patient with everyone. Medyo dito tayo Ito yung word na medyo masakit. Okay? Now, this is addressed sa tuwa na pong tanan because nag-mention din eh, brothers and sisters, all of us. Okay? Now, we urge, we urge, no? The word urge, there is intense command. I urge you, inuutusan kita. No? Kapag ang mga, ang mga sundalo, ang mga general, mingon siya, I command you. No? There is urgency. No? Dapat gawin mo agad ito. Naintindihan natin. No? Dapat gawin natin ito. Tama ba kuya? No? No, basta mingon ang general, do this immediately. Ayaw pag unya-unya sa diha. Buha, tunday naman na. No? There is intense command. No? You want those who are lazy. Kung saan mga lazy? Mga unruly. Mga unruly na person. Kato ganing mga gahik ulo. No? Mga gahik ulo. Kaysa dirig gahik ulo. Walang aamin talaga. <laughs> no? Walang yung amin na gahik ulo. No? Sometimes, ang, per, ang, ang, ang tao, naging siya karakteristik na gahik ulo. Whether you like it or not, Ang tao yun, sometimes, or most of the time, gahit yun ulo. 
na nagisugo sa imo ang Ginoo pero wala gyapon ni response gahit tag ulo no lazy unruly okay warn pagsabihan no pagsabihan natin tum nga gahit ulo let's correct them with brotherly love no ay ibuta sa tong una na ayo na siya correct kay basig mawala sa church no Correct them. If you have the authority to correct your brother, do it. Para masave ni mo siya. Okay? No? Warn those who are lazy, then encourage those who are timid. Kisa ni mga timid? Katugan ni mga naikahadlok? Walang lakas ng loob? No? Encourage them. No? No? Uh, Sometimes ganin ako gina istorya na ano I, I don't want to mention their names no Brother ano ba pwede ka pwede ka ano pwede ka maging uh, tagani magunit og AG accountability group sa kanina ano na grupo wala ko ayo ayo lang ano eh ayo lang pastor eh kay ano kay wala kong wala koy ano wala koy guts wala koy guts Totoo wala tayong guts tunod wala tay wala tay guts If our minds is empty, if we don't allow God to work in our lives, wala kita yung guts. Nagkahatag lang sa tuwa confidence because God is with us. Kaya na itong buhaton ang sakabutang because God is with us. No? Kung tanawan ito, tanawan ito mga Bible stories, no? Sa panahon nila, nila David, nila Gideon, No, kung tanawan ni mo ang ilahang story, alanghanin yung kayo sila na malakadaog sa kalaban. Pero, there is God in them. Mao na kayahan nila, na kaya nila. Amen? So, ikaw, taghaan ka sa gino to handle this, this AG, to handle this ministry, no? Do it with the strength of God in you. Amen? Napaisip na yata kayo, ha? <laughs> Napaisip, ha? Okay? So, yun, no? Encourage. Kung ikaw na kayo gift of encouraging other person, please use it, no? Encourage the, those people and yung mga coward na, itong mga na cowardice sa kailang kasing kasas na kinabuhi ka itong walang lakas ng loob. Okay? Then, take tender care of those who are weak, Kaning week, dili ni siya pasabot na masakit ton, yun, ano. Kanang mura ka ng dili mo manuman ang ilang mga task. Because, wala sila inana na strength. No? Dili sila inana ka, grabe ang strength nila. So please, no, alagaan na to na siya. And then most of the, pinaka-important is, be patient with everyone. No? Have understanding. Kailangan na understanding. Ang isa ka leader, kailangan ng understanding. Because kung pila ka buhok ang imuang ginagunitan na mga, minister, mga tao or mga ministers, maupo na kadagan ang imuang problema. Kapag magsabay-sabay na silang tanan, ha, Lord, 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 give me understanding. Kailangan natin ni siya. Kailangan natin maging pasensyoso. Sila ha. Sa so, church, dilita na ang buotan. Nayuban sa tua, gaik ulo, to be honest, nayuban sa tua, relax lang, no? Uban, dili mo response, be patient. Have patient. Walangan taasan gini mo, lawakan ni mong understanding sila. No? Amen? Maintindihan natin? Okay, next. All of it are equal to stewardship. Katong gibasa nato na tanan, no? No? Um, ang end up ana is dapat maging nakay stewardship. Why? Kung mabuhat ni mo ni siya, pero dili ni mo maalagaan, wala stewardship. Everything will lost. Mawala na siya. Amen? Kapag nakay sariling AG, alagaan mo na siya alagaan mo na siya kung gamay kung gamay pa na, na to ganin 
Kung gamay pa na nasid, kailangan mo na og double time na alagaan. Amen? Amen. So, kailangan ng stewardship. No? Dili lang nagkaroon tag AJ para nalantay fellowship, pero itreat na ito ang atuang accountability group as our family. Our second family. Amen? Amen. Okay, now. Sorry. Now, the gift of stewardship is praying, serving, giving, and sharing. Mauna ang mga key sa ito ang AG. No? Kailangan na ito praying, mag-pray ta sa matag-usa. No? Kailangan na ito i-serve ang matag-usa. Kailangan na ito maghatag sa matag-usa kung sakaling uh, they are financially down. No? Tabangan kahit gamay na, na, na amount sa imuhang uh, kwarta and sharing your, your, your ideas. Sharing the Word of God, encouraging one another, na din yung mauni ang gift of stewardship. No? Praying, serving, giving, and sharing. No? Di ha palang daan, no? kung, kung masabta natin ng upat kabuok, nako, di dyo mong maglisod. No? Di dyo mong mag, mag, maglisod o serve. No? Okay? Now, number two, Number three, okay, serve fellow Christian. Number uh, verse 15, see that no one pays back evil for evil, but always try to do good to each other and to all people. It means, no, be accountable with each other. No, kapag nakita na nato ni si, kanina si brother, medyo dilin na siya okay sa iyahaba. So please be a mediator. No? Not be a referee. Be a mediator. Kasi ang referee, okay, fight, fight, sige pa, uh, why? You know, kung, kung mediator ka, i-reconcile ni mo yung slando, ha? No? And then, but always try to do good for, to each other and to all people. Mauna ang gusto sa ginoo sa tua. No? Matago sa, no, napakita na, na, na to ang good things na sila, ha? Okay? Then, Verse 26, niyang bakong 26 because uh, sa sunod na ano ito, sa, sa sunod na verse, lahat po ito na ano topic. Okay, in verse 26, greet all the brothers and sisters with a sacred kiss. Kabalo ba mo na daghan, daghan nagkaroon o misinterpretation interpretation ani na verse because of the word sacred kiss? Kaya nga, kami ni Brother Lemuel doon sa planta, nami discussion na 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 ang mga disipulo daw sa una, mga tao daw sa una, mga bayot o mga tumboy because of this word. no? Pero, we must try to understand what does this sacred kiss means. Ano sa pasabot na ni sacred kiss? Sa sulit sa simbahan, mag-inalok kayo itang tanan? No. no? It means, no? Naatay, godly fellowship and it includes genuine love. Godly fellowship. Not only just fellowship, but godly fellowship. With genuine love. Okay? So greet all the brothers and sisters with a, another term, godly fellowship and genuine love. Yan ang iyang buot ipasabot diha. Okay? Next. Okay, now. Serve yourself. No? We cannot serve others if we don't serve ourselves. Martyr lang. No? Kailangan natin i-serve din ang ating sarili. How? Okay? Number one, always be joyful. Number two, never stop praying. Ask the Lord. And then number 18, verse 18, be thankful in all circumstances because For this is God's will for you, for me, who belongs to Christ, Jesus. At naintindihan natin. Amen and amen. No? Dili pwede na magservisyo ka sa uban, pero mong sarili, dili ni mo maservisyohan. No. No? No. Okay? So, explain nato ni siya ang verse 16, 17, and 18. In verse 16, Always be joyful because your joy is not based in the circumstances na naaka, 
but in God. Mautong ginaingon na ako, ang buhay ng kristyano ay masayang tunay. Despite sa imong problema sa kinabuhi, dapat maging masaya tayo because there is a, there is big God inside us. Amen po ba tayo doon? Naatay da kong ginoo. Naatay da kong ginoo. So whatever circumstances na naaka, no? Be joyful because why? God is in you. No circumstances change. Mawala lang na siya pero ang ginoo naagi na all the time sa tuwang kinabuhi. Amen. At nakakaintindihan po tayo doon. Amen. Usbo na ako. Circumstances change, but God doesn't. He is the God sa panahon ni Adam and Eve until now. He is still our God. Dili mausap ang kinoo. Kita mausap. Majority sa tuwa or ang uban, kapag nice circumstances na niabot sa kinabuhi, nagaluya, nagadiscourage. Di man na ako ni kaya. Di na ako kaya ang problema. Without knowing na ang ginoo na naasin niyang kinabuhi, wala nagbago. Kaya lagi natin lagay sa ating mga isipan, na ang buhay ng Kristiyano ay masayang tunay kahit meron tayong mga problema sa buhay. No? Kita sometimes or majority, di alam na malipayon kapag ito ang kinabuhi is malipayon. Kapag natin ang blessings ni Lord, pero how about kung wala ang blessings ni Lord? Makaselebrate pa kaya ta? Ha? Makasapal- makapasalamat pa kaya sa ginoo? No. Dapat, in all circumstances, be joyful. Serve your step. No, kahit, kahit, dako yung problema, be joyful. Be joyful because God is in you. Ulit-ulitin ko, God is in you, in, in me, and all of us na ang ginoo sa tua. Because, mauna ang promise sa ginoo sa tua. God is with us. Emmanuel. Amen. Verse 17, never stop praying. Prayer is communication with God. No? And then, and we can live each minute of the day in a constant, no, flowing conversation with God. Kaya na to mag-pray sa ginoo kada minuto. Isuda to kada, kada minuto. Remember, nag-share ko about breath prayer. Kasi naka-remember sa ginatawag na itong breath prayer. Katong breath prayer na, Lord, thank you. Salamat, Lord. Pag sakay niyo mo sa sakinan, thank you, Lord, kinakasakay kong sakinan. No? Pagbaba niyo mo sa sakinan, pagbayad niyo mo sa driver, thank you, Lord. Itagahan ko niyo mo kwarta para na ako ikabayad sa driver. That is breath prayer. No? So, never stop praying. Ask the Lord. Pray to the Lord. No? Okay? And then, now, ingon si Charles Spurgeon, okay? When joy and prayer are married, kung mag-asawas lang doon, ah, their firstborn child is gratitude. Charles Spurgeon. Ibig sabihin, in verse 18, no? Be thankful in all circumstances for this is, is God's will for you who belong to Christ Jesus. In good and bad circumstances, thank God. No? Be always joyful. Pray without ceasing and be thankful. Serve yourself. Train yourself to be thankful, to be prayerful, and to kind of maging joyful. Train yourself. No? Kapag ka na, makita na si mong kinabuhi, no? Laka, lahi lagi ni si brother. Kanang makita git ang ano, makita git ang iyang Christ-likeness. No? Na, da, kabalo ba yung dagan sa problema? Pero nga nung malipayon man. No? Okay. Because, 
in his mind, no, kasabot na siya kung unsa gyud ang service. Ang purpose ni God sa yang life, no? Okay? Happy na tayo. Okay. Always joyful, no? Pray without ceasing. Thanksgiving, okay? Always joyful is our emotion and then our action is praying and then our response is thanking God. Okay? In general, okay, this is good for ourselves and that uh, and this is the will of God for us. Only ang command sa Ginoo sa tua. Amen. Amen. Okay? Now, respect the spiritual things, okay? In verse 19, do not stifle the Holy Spirit. Verse 20, do not scoff at prophecy. Verse 21, but test everything that is said. Hold on to what is good. And verse 12, uh, 22, stay away from if every kind of evil. So, verse 19, we cannot, uh, we can scratch the fire of the Spirit by our doubt, our rejection of Him, or by destruction of others. Ibig sabihin, dili na ito ginapawork ang work sa Holy Spirit, ginatuok, ginapatay na ito ang Holy Spirit. No? No, don't do that. No? Ayaw pag-alaga, kapag ang Holy Spirit nag-work sa imong kinabuhi, allow it na mag-work sa imong kinabuhi. No? Don't reject Him. No? Kapag imuha ang kauban sa simbahan, no? Na uh, itong gani, uh, nagkaroon ng prophecy or nag-work ang Holy Spirit sa inyong kinabuhi, no, don't be distracted. Concentrate yourself sa ginoo. Lord, please, if nag-work ka sa inyong kinabuhi, please, work with sa kuhang kinabuhi. Let your Holy Spirit move in my life, in myself. Kung na- naitabo sa iya, ha, please, Lord, allow it to happen sa kuhang kinabuhi. Amen? Verse 20, do not scoff at prophecies. Do not treat prophecies with contempt or disrespect. Kapag may nag-prophesy, nag-prophecy, no? Please listen siya ha. Because the work of the Spirit, no? Ang, ang work sa Holy Spirit is to give information sa to ah, through prophecy. Amen? No? Ang work sa ginoon sa to ah, gamitun ang matag sa sa to ah, No? To give prophecy. No? Para mag-prophesy. Okay? Okay, next. Pero, in verse 21, but test everything that is said, hold on to what is good, stay away from every kind of evil. Ibig sabihin, kailangan na to siya, importante na kailangan na to siya i-test, no? No? When, uh, if, it is important for Christian to test all things when the test has been made according kung unsa tong naa sa sulod sa Biblia, kung unsa tong atong nasabtan sa Biblia, mao na ang atong standard, no? Kung sa tuwa checklist, no? Mao tong standard, okay? Uh, and then according to the standard of God's word and the discernment of the spirit among the leaders, okay? God ang, ang, ang atong mga leaders na sila discerning spirit, no? It discern nila ang mga pangitabo sa tuwang church, okay? And then, ingon sa dire, when, uh, when, then, we then hold fast to what is good. Always choose what is good. Kaya nga, kung mamili ta sa grocery, piliyo na ito itong pinaka the best. No? Same, same po direct. Mamili ta on sa ang good and best. Okay? Conclusion. Conclusion. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, 11, in Ngon Sadirif, Therefore, encourage one another and build one another up just as you are doing. That's how you serve. Isulitin ko. Therefore, encourage one another and build one another up just as you are doing. Magtinabangay ta o lift up matag-usa. Kapag imong brother na tingala na ka, wala lagi si brother, tawagan ni mo na siya. Okay? Kumusta ko na to brother? Bakit wala ka dito kanina sa church? Ah, ganito brother, kasi may importante kaming ginawa. Eh, kayon. Okay? Next, no? Conclusion, in verse 23, now, now, May the God of peace make you holy in every way. Okay? 
and make your whole spirit and soul and body be kept blameless until our Lord Jesus Christ come again. Please say amen. amen. No? Mauna ang gusto may tabo. Nakita blameless, no? Para pag-abos sa gino, we are blameless. Okay? In verse 24, Go, God will make this happen for He calls you is faithful. It will happen sa mong individual ministry, sa tuwang church. No? It will happen. Agay ba tayo doon? Na it will happen. Amen. And then, so verse 25, Dear brothers and sisters, pray for us. Pray sa matag usa. Pray your leaders, pray your uh, AG, uh, AG leaders, pray your brethren, always pray one another. Amen? Then, last, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Ang gracia sa gino, be with you always. Amen? Uh, last time, nagkaroon with age, uh, Bible study online, na-amiss ko sa gaysulti sa ito ang isa ka sister. No? Be before na ko i-share ang iyong gaysulti, kisa din sa ito ah, ang na-confirmation na siya ay safe. Kisa din ang safe na yun. Ito sa kamot, be proud, be proud of it na ikaw, safe na ka. Safe. Jesus Christ died for you para ma-save ka lang. Okay? Ingon siya dere. Yan, si Ate Candice. Okay, ingon siya dere. We are not saved because we serve, but we are saved to serve. Amen. So, kung ningon ka na you are saved, serve. Nakaron, kisa dere ang save. Guningon kag save ka, serve. So I ask everybody to please stand. I by, by the way before before ta mag, mag pray. Oh din ato ang mga mga reflection question. Number 1, how will you respond in the calling of God in your life? Number 2, how can I serve someone even going the extra mile to do so? Number 3, what are the things that you can sacrifice for you to serve with God and for others? Number four, what are the hindrances why you don't serve with God and others? And number five, how will you convert that hindrances into a response to serve God and others? I ask everybody to please stand and later, sa to ang individual time, sa to mga pamanimalay, try to reflect on it. No? Kanin ni maka question na gusto na tong may baluit sa tong kinabuhi. No? Lord God, we thank you, Lord God, for your word today. Thank you, Father God, Lord, for the gift of service. Nag-i-allow ni mo sa mga, Lord God. Lord, please help us, Lord God, na mag-response me. Diya sa mo, Lord God. Sa mong calling na mag-serve me. Sa mo, ha? Kauban ka. O sa mga kaubanan sa simbahan. O sa mga tao, Lord God, na wala pa naka uh, dawat ni mo, Father God. We thank you, Lord God, and this we ask in your mighty name, O God. Amen and amen. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Palakpakan nato atong buhi nga gino. Summarize na ko ang gisulti ni Pastor Edsel um, through the word of the Lord in Deuteronomy 7.9. Understand, therefore, that the Lord your God is indeed God. He is the faithful God who keeps His covenant for a thousand generations and lavishes His unfailing love on those who love Him and obey His commands. When we are saved... We are taught and called to serve. And when we serve and saved by the Lord, it is loving Him and obeying His very words. 
Salamat ginoo sa imuhang pagkamaayo sa among tanan kay wala jug ka nagkulang sa pagtudlo kanamo karong buntaga. Now let's go to our offerings. Leviticus 27:30. Gingon dito. All the tithes of the land, whether of the seed of the land or of the fruit of the tree is the Lord's. It is holy to the Lord. Balikan nako. It is the Lord's. It is holy to the Lord. Sa atong online viewers, mga members o families nato, o mga friends nga naakaron sa inyuhang panimalay, karong tungura, you can also give online. You can give via our BPI account number and in, on your screens, makita ninyo ang atong BPI account number of uh, COG Sasa. We know that not all of us can come to the sanctuary because of the ordinances. But you know what? We can worship God through our finances. We can always honor the Lord with our finances. And that is why we would like to emphasize that to all of our online viewers right now. And to all of us, I would like to encourage you to raise all of your tithes and our offerings right now. Because sa Leviticus nagingon, tanan nga abut sa atong mga kamot, tanan nga produkto sa atong mga ipangtanom, sa atong mga kinitaan, it is the fruit of, our, of the tree, it is the Lord's. The Lord that belongs to God and it is holy to the Lord. Let me encourage you to repeat after me this declaration as you raise your tithes and offerings right now. Kindly repeat after me. I declare in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare in the name of Jesus Christ. Financial blessings. Financial blessings and breakthrough upon me. And breakthrough upon me. And upon the members of this church. I will continue to be faithful in supporting the work of God. I will continue to be committed in doing the work of God according to His will. I declare breakthrough in our businesses, breakthrough in our jobs, breakthrough in our families. Today's pandemic, Today's pandemic will not bring fear in me. Will not bring fear in me. The, sources of my income the sources of my income will be protected. Will be protected. And the work of my hands, of my hands will, be will be blessed by the power of Jesus Christ, the power of Jesus our Jehovah Jireh. Our Jehovah Jireh. Hallelujah. Lord, a portion of our income we give to you. We honor you with our finances, my Lord, and our income. Bless, O oh God, multiply this, mighty God, that this will be an instrument of support for your work, Lord God. And this will be also an instrument of support for our community and will help bridge healing to the impoverished. Lord, you are so faithful. Thank you, Lord. You are faithful. And right now, if you have a need, friends, you can have a miracle. Sa mga naakaroon sa sanctuary, pwede ni mo ipataas yung kamot kung nagkinahanglan ka o maski unsa sa ginoo. And encourage po na ako ang mga pamilya nato, mga amigo, amiga nato, nga naa sa online, na silang balay, o elsewhere, na sa America, sa Canada, Australia, Indonesia, and U.S., kay pagkinahanglan ka ron, pwede nimo itapion ang imong kamot sa kung unsa man ang gadget na gamit nimo and even sa TV kung asa ka nagtan-aw og naminaw ka ron. if you have a need you can have a miracle kitang tanan magampo ka ron. father god in heaven eternal god gipataas namo among mga kamot ginoong dios as a sign of surrender to you 
There is nothing we can do apart from you, Lord. But we can do anything with your power in us. Ginong Dios, una sa tanan, mangayog mi kapasayluan sa akong mga sala. Because more than the COVID-19 virus is a spiritual virus of sin. If it is lurking in our hearts and our minds, oh God, we pray that you will search our hearts, search our minds. Pasaylua kami ginoong Dios kung unsa man ang mga sala nga nakaron sa among kasing-kasing. Naaman min mali nga nasulti, mali nga nasa mong hunahuna. Nagaampo kami ginoong Dios sa balaang espiritu ug sa gahum sa blood, sa dugo, sa among ginoong Heso Kristo. Nga mo'y mulimpyo karon sa among mga hunahuna. Mulimpyo sa among mga kamot. Mulimpyo sa among kasing-kasing. Ug mulimpyo sa tibuok na among kinabuhi. Father God, I pray for protection and shield upon all COG Sasa members right now. Our families, oh God, and our friends. From COVID-19 virus, Lord God. Daghan ginoong Dios sa among pamilya, sa among membro sa simbahan, sa among mga amigo, amiga sa among community nagswabing oh God, but we pray oh Lord for a miracle from you and negative results oh God, because Lord dili kani makahamper ginoo sa pagserve namo kanimo, and Lord we pray for shield and protection right now, even oh God sa COVID-19 virus in Jesus name. And all other diseases, O God, for even in the days of King Hezekiah, nagingon ka sa Second Kings 25. I have heard your prayer and seen your tears. I will heal you, says the Lord. Amo ng gunitan ginoo, and we will continue to hold on that the Lord is indeed our Jehovah Rapha, our great physician, O God, for antilalay. For Nanay Adelina, for Kuya Mani, and to all of us, oh God, na nagpataas sa mong kamot who are suffering right now from any form of diseases, hypertension, diabetes, heart problems, stomach problems, in the name of Jesus Christ, we are healed because Lord, you said in Jeremiah 30, 17, I will restore you to health and heal your wounds says the Lord. Hallelujah for that healing. Hallelujah. And even oh God covering some of frontliners, Lord Jesus, nakita na mo ilang mga nawong. They are so exhausted. And Lord, we pray for your healing upon them. Give them strength and cover them, my Lord. Mga frontliners na mo, ginong Diyos, nga nag-administer sa vaccination. And Lord, nasayot yun ikaw, sila mismo, O God, taking this risk to be of service, O Lord, to your people. I pray that you would cover them, strengthen them in Jesus' name. Lord, even, O God, sa amua na mapavaksin, those, O God, na nakaline up, persons with comorbidity, ikaw na ginoo, Lord, magagiyam, maghatag o strength as well, O God, sa amua ang tanan na magpavaksin. And even, O God, we pray for the nation's leaders. Dili na mo kalimtan, O God, si President Rodrigo Duterte. Lisod git, Lord, ang administration, kanon management of the Philippines. COVID cases are surging, O God. Grabe kataas na yun ginoo. And ang capacity, O God, sa mga mga hospitals are in a critical level. But Lord, you are the God that healeth us. You are the God who holds our future. Lord, it may be uncertain times we are facing right now, but we will not be disheartened. We will not fear, O Lord, because we know that you hold our future. It's Jesus Christ who is holding our future. Hallelujah to the living God. We pray for President Rodrigo Duterte down to Mayor Inday, down to the barangay captains, Captain Chonko, and all the others, Lord Jesus. We, for wisdom, they need that, O oh Lord, and moral authority to serve the nation well. Ginong Dios, gipataas po namo karon ginoo ang mga pastors namo Lord. Daghan sila who are facing severe challenges. They are on lockdown, O God. Kanay nag-positive silang mga members, but I pray, O Lord God, 
Lonely sila karon, but I pray for grace. I pray for your mercy, oh God. Make a way for them, oh Lord, that they can come back, oh God, to worshiping you in the temple, in the sanctuary, oh God. And even for the nation, Israel. You know and you've seen, oh God, their hardships right now. And they have been threatened, oh God, by terror groups. Oh, nakita ni mo ginong Dios. Ani lang in a face right now. But Lord, we bless your nation, Israel. Because Lord, nagingun ka. If, we, if people will bless your nation, we will also be blessed. And right now, Lord, for the nation, Israel, take care of your people in Jerusalem. They are right now, oh God, in difficult times, but we pray for peace upon Israel, Lord, in Jesus' name. And even, oh God, for our friends and families online, they are facing, you know, loneliness, emotional turmoil, oh God. Sometimes, dili daw nila masabtan what is happening, oh God. But Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. Lord, because you said in your word in Psalms 147.3, he heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. Father, among a kauban namo nga naakarun online lang ginong Dios na sila panimalay. They might be facing COVID fatigue, but Lord, you know them. Strengthen them, O God. Strengthen their heart, and Lord, give joy in their right in them right now. Thank you for your many promises, O oh God. Thank you for the promises of your words. They are our anchor in this difficult season. You are indeed, O oh God, our may maker. You are our miracle worker. You are our promise keeper. You are our unchangeable God. You are our unshakable God. You are our unstoppable God. That is who you are. That is who you are. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. We worship you today, my Lord. We worship you today, my Lord. O kaunimo, ginong Diyos, ipataas na mo ang among mga kamot. Ipataas na mo ang among mga kamot, ginong Diyos, signifying that indeed we worship you today. We magnify you and we bless you, O God. We bless you, O Lord. We bless you. Shall we sing that song? Be magnified, O Lord. I have made you too small in my eyes. O Lord, forgive me. And I have lived in a lie. Let's sing it, everyone. That you were unable.
presence is here in our midst. We thank you so much, oh God, for your presence, oh Lord. We thank you so much, oh Lord, for you are faithful. Thank you very much for indeed you are unshakable God. You are unchangeable God. You're an unstoppable God. And we give you glory. We give you honor and praises. Lord, we pray these things in Jesus' name. Let us raise our hands now to heaven. And now the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord makes his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit. Be with us now and forevermore. And the people of the Lord will say, Amen. Amen. God bless you, everyone. See you next Sunday. You can Anno give your offerings to our baskets. Thank you, and God bless everybody. Announcement. Thank For your tithes and offering, you may deposit or make online transfer to the church bank account. Please refer to these details. Current account name, Church of God World Mission of the Philippines. Current account number, 2091-021-091. May God bless you as you give to the Lord.